I'm about to show you four charts that could cause Bitcoin to spiral out of control. These are the four charts that absolutely scare me. I'm gonna also give an update on what I believe, whether the bottom is in or not. As you know, 60 days ago, we called for the bottom to be in. But these charts that can cause Bitcoin to spiral out of control, I'm gonna give my latest and greatest update, including the latest and greatest update on this bear flag that we have been forming now for a few months. If you're new here, my name is Steve. Started in the stock market a little over 20 years ago and just made every rookie mistake in the book. I spent the next 20 years figuring out how to dominate this game so that you could follow along and not make all of the mistakes that I did. Hit that subscribe button and let's jump straight into the video. We're gonna cover four distinct charts. The first one being right here, and then we've gotta give the latest and greatest update on these two charts, as well as the latest and greatest on this bear flag that everyone has been asking me about. But first, we'll start right here. I also want to reference the fact that our Twitter, we just ran a poll. You can follow us on Twitter at CryptoCrewU. We just ran a poll with what do you think the next major move is going to be? The high majority of the people voted 25K. As we all know, when the high majority is saying the same thing, generally the opposite happens. So is this poll going to be correct or are we going to see 10K? Let's face in our video here and by the way you can go on twitter and follow along and put your vote in before it's too late but our first chart here is a shout out to our student jd that came from our twitter question as well but this one's very interesting this is on the daily chart above we have price action below we have the rsi the relative strength index what we've noticed is that there was a 40 percent drop here a 40 percent drop here at precisely the same pattern that's repeating in the rsi we were creating a, a low, a higher low, another higher low, another higher low. We were creating this beautiful trend line here. And at the moment that we broke this trend line, that's when the 40% drop happened. Now you'll notice that this trend line, we weren't following it for a couple days or maybe even a week or two. It was a substantial amount of time that we were following this pattern here. And when it broke, that was precisely the moment that we fell to this new low creating our low here, and then we started the pattern again with our low, a higher low, another higher low, another higher low, until we finally broke it here. When we broke this trend line, we had another 40% drop in prices to here, 17,500. And then we started the same pattern again. We had our low, another low, a higher low, another higher low, another higher low, a higher low, another higher low, and another higher low, and we just broke this trend line again. So the question is, are we going to see another 40% drop? Now, granted, we only have two data points. It's not like we have 27 data points, but again, the facts are the facts. The past two times we did this, it was a 40% drop. Now, does this mean we're going to see another 40% drop? Absolutely not. Does it mean that we could see further downside action? It does. Because what you'll notice is in the beginning of the drop, we did form a new pivot and then we started consolidating and we formed another pivot, right? And the same thing happened in the next point, right? We had this pivot and then we had another pivot low here, okay? So this, pay attention to the RSI over the next few days in the coming weeks. What's going to happen with this RSI? Are we going to break this pattern and, and get, avoid this 40% drop? We've already seen less than a 20% drop, but it has been substantial. We can call it 18%. This has been substantial. It did cause a lot of fear in the markets and a lot of people are reevaluating whether the bottom is in, and we are going to give our latest and greatest on that as well. But this is one chart that is relatively scary that could spiral out of control. Something bigger on a bigger time frame, a six month candle, is the bearish engulfing. And again, if you're new to our channel, a bearish engulfing candle simply means that the body of the candle is red and it's bigger than the previous body, which has to be green. If those rules are true, it's a bearish engulfing candle. This is the first time Bitcoin has ever seen it on the six month chart, meaning usually, bearish engulfing candles will affect the next several candles, meaning if it's six months, the next several 
more than one and a half years will be affected by this single candle that was printed here. First in history. And we've had the opposite happen. A bullish engulfing candle, which was a green body, which was bigger than the previous red body, which makes it a bullish engulfing candle, which is a trend reversal to the upside. We're seeing the opposite happen here, a trend reversal to the downside. So more on that in the coming videos. But this is another one. We have the law growth curves where 99.9% .9 of the price action has happened inside of the law growth curves, meaning in the top yellow line and the bottom yellow line, all price action has happened in between these two lines until recently. Bitcoin has now acted as resistance to what has been our support for Bitcoin's entire history. But it doesn't stop there because at the bottom of here, we have the RSI on the monthly chart. Right? We've always had our pivot lows right around this point of about 44, 43. But what's different this time is not only did we break it, but we're holding it as resistance. Right, We had our pivot low here in June. And then in July, we got resistance. We got rejected from what used to be our support. No surprise, that's how charts work. But what is concerning is what are we going to do next? Is this going to be a new type of of time for bitcoin where we're holding long-term resistance from what used to be our support because again when you look at price action we've said many times we could hold this yellow line as resistance for many months to come it could be you know into early next year where we're still holding this yellow line as resistance it's all going to play out in the charts with the facts but again the first thing that we would need to do is get the RSI above this 44 and hold it as support for the first time in quite a while. We do not want to see continued resistance here, especially multiple rejections. The more time we get rejected from an area that's supposed to be strong resistance, the weaker that we become. We have to show strength. We've got to get above here and we have to start to change our momentum. And the last but not least, this is the one everyone is asking about. If you follow our channel, we started covering Bitcoin being in major trouble at the beginning of the year, okay? Back in January of 2022, we started showing some big signs on higher timeframes, the monthly charts, where we had our stochastic cross down, uh, MACD cross down, both on the monthly charts. We started bringing big warning signs, and then we went into this classic textbook bear flag formation and we followed it month after month after month we were going from the bottom to the top to the bottom to the top and we said watch for a break these are usually a continuation pattern continuation of this downturn all right a lot of people think hey this is a rising channel we're making new highs and we're making new lows higher highs and higher lows mm -mm. This is a bear flag formation, a textbook one, and we looked for that breakout. We took a measured pull, and it brought us down to just under 19,000, okay? That's where traders would take some, uh, some trades off the table to avoid it and add some long-term positions on the table for the next leg. But again, what we did was we actually formed into a second bear flag. This is where things get very interesting. Because our first bear flag obviously didn't turn out very well. Now we're in another one where we're in this channel where we're creating higher highs, we're creating higher lows, everybody is happy except the charts. Men lie, women lie, the charts don't lie, and my hips don't lie. But the chart here is saying, look, we're in some trouble. Okay, what you don't want to see is a breakdown here. We talked about it on our channel. This was our breakdown candle. This was our confirmation candle. You can see our confirmation candle actually got resistance again from this area. And that was the start of our absolute downfall in Bitcoin. It was a bloodbath. It was very gruesome. And we do not want to see that again. Here we are in a candle that's going to close uh, very, 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 very soon. We are going to close as a breakdown candle. Uh, more than likely. And if this is a breakdown candle, the next candle will be a confirmation candle. We do not want to see that close below this level here. The current level is at about 21.2K. Okay, you've got to watch this like a hawk. We do not want to see another bear flag breakdown. Okay, so these are the charts that scare me. In an honest and open way, 
I want to give my honest take now on what I see happening in the charts, because we got four of them here and we have a poll on Twitter. But what's my honest take? Because a little more than 60 days ago, we called for the bottom. And here we are 60 days later. What do we think is happening? Do we think that there's more downside action coming, which a lot of people do believe? If we take a look at what's happening in the world, right, with the, the financial systems around the world showing some pretty big signs of turmoil. We've got recession signs. We got the printing of money. We got the interest rates. We've got potential wars on our hands. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot to take in. But what I will say is that when you base everything on the facts and the charts and you look purely at the facts without any emotion, our channel, we do it differently. We focus just on the facts, which is why we were able to call the 2018 bottom, why we were able to call a legendary rally after the 2018 bottom, and how we were able to call the top of that rally at 14K with the Gravestone Doji Candle. We look at the facts in a non-emotional way, and we make sound judgments based on the facts. And when you look at facts like these ones, where we have the 100 MA and the 20 MA crossing, at precisely the market bottoms, and it crossed at 17.5K. It also crossed in 2015 at precisely the bottom. When you look at other facts like this one, we're in the golden zone, we're knee deep in the golden zone. We touched our yellow line just as we've done in the past. There's some of these facts, we're holding 19.5K with incredibly uh, strong support. There's these facts that we're looking at. Could we have a double bottom where a handful of months from now, even up to a year from now, we come back down and double bottom at this purple line? We could absolutely do that. What the facts are saying right now is still 60 days later, there's still more facts that are saying that the bottom is in fact in. There are some charts, which we just showed, that scare me. And we need to see how this bear flag pattern plays out over the next week. But as it stands right now, we have not closed as resistance. We have not confirmed this yet. So I'm speaking just purely in the facts at this moment as we speak. There are still more facts that are saying that the bottom is in. Next week, that could change. and We need to change our tune. Now, as you know, about six months ago, we predicted that the strongest level in Bitcoin was 13.7K. That hasn't changed, right? You can see the chart that we showed you here. 13.7K is the strongest level. Nobody can argue that. It's just based on the facts and the charts. We got the bodies of all these candles, the wicks of all these candles. Could we still fall to here? We absolutely could. We absolutely could. Nobody knows on planet Earth. But what we can base things on are the facts and the charts. It's saying that it's likely the bottom is in, but again, we've got some turmoil on our hands that we need to watch over the coming weeks, which could change our tune. We already changed our tune from 13.7 being the bottom, and when we actually plummeted in prices, we reevaluated the charts. Chart after chart after chart was saying that the bottom was in, so we we reacted to the charts. We do it different on this channel. We don't have to stick to any prediction to try to be right, to give ourselves a pat on the back. I come here because I read the charts to you like a book and you respect that because you come here for honesty. No BS. We don't we don't spew all these, you know, paid links and coins that are paying us to promote them. We we don't do any of that crap. We come here, we talk about the facts, we hang out and we enjoy the charts. And that's all we do. So the charts still right now are saying that the bottom is more likely in, but that could change as the next week comes. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you right back here on the next video. Do you want to know when to buy and when to sell? Click this video right now.